Hello and welcome. I am Scarpalock and this is Satisfactory Early Access Update 3. So we are in the border between the northern biome, which is over there, nice and green, and the desert biome, which is over here in brown. And our hub is way over there on the other side of the mountains, and I'm in a uh, an observation tower right now and taking a look at where I am thinking about possibly building the base. So in the past I had put the space elevator up there which is kind of a cool spot um, but I was thinking now about maybe putting it on that ridge right over there if I can get to it and I was thinking about starting the base right at the top of this hill or maybe at the top of that hill and kind of suspending it all the way across this giant area here which I'm calling the North Inlet. It's pretty big. It goes on for a really long way and it might be that that is where I want to set up kind of the base and the space elevator and then everything will get piped into here. Now you can't see it because we don't have a map yet but this is kind of on the extreme northern center part of the planet and there are going to be oil deposits up here um, not too far away I think in that direction and that direction in the north and there are some other resources also there are four coal nodes right here and then I haven't found it yet but I think there's a fifth one up over here so there's a lot of coal right here my idea is to start a I've done this before and make a power plant in the lake here and um, use the water of the lake to uh, pipe water into the coal plant so that the coal plant can uh, be cooled as well as receiving the coal from over here. So you belt the coal over, you pipe the water over, and you're good to go. I mean, alternatively, you could put the coal generators down here and use the water from this area, but I think I want to actually build the base over there. And the idea is going to be to have it extend all the way across, anchor into these walls over here, all the way across to there, anchor into this wall over here, cover that whole area, and then we'll have a little, I don't know, some mechanism or other to take us up, jump, uh, the little uh, jump things or hyper tubes or whatever, getting us up to the top, and that's where the space elevator will be. Ultimately, we'll have lifts and things for with conveyor belts to put stuff into the space elevator up there, but I think it might look really cool anchored to the rock right there at the top. I really like to put the space, space elevator up so that it's just visible from everywhere and it's really high. So I think that's what I'm possibly going to do. We're not going to necessarily start the build now, but I think at least I've found where I want to go. I'm calling this North Inlet. I don't know what the official name is. Um, I've also named this lake Willow Lake because of the purple willow trees over there. And you can hear the roaring. There is a mega sort of what they call an alpha one of the pig beasts over there so we definitely don't want to get we don't want to cross paths with him until we have a rebar gun or something so now oh and I fell and there's a regular guy the regular pig guys aren't that bad um, it's really the mega guy the alpha that's the most trouble Of course, now having said that, I'm going to get hit five times by the regular guy. And oh, there's two of them. Great. Yeah, the Alpha has a whole, like, entourage. So you can see from the number of carapaces I have, I've killed a bunch of these pig beasts and some spitters. But yeah, I think we're gonna what we're gonna do is put our generating plant here. We'll put our base over there, and that's how we'll get started, guys. I think. And then we're gonna have to transport everything to here from all over the planet. That's ultimately what you have to do either way. So let's go ahead and heal up. I'm gonna use the pale berries so that I can clear one of my inventory slots to keep trying to collect um, wood and leaves so that we have a full inventory by the time we get back to increase our bioenergy. We will not be able to make 
um, we will not be able to make coal generating plants until we have um, until we have built the space elevator. So that's going to be our next priority. So we're going to have to start getting some building going here. And in the past, oh, by the way, I named this the needle because we're threading the needle in between the poison over here and the cave that's over here that has a nasty guy in it. And you're threading the needle. Um, ultimately, we're going to want most of our transport to be on highways up high. Um, one of the things that I try to do is arrange all of the building so that it's all square to each other. John Bain is the guy who uh, taught me to do this, if you want to watch his videos. He's pretty awesome. Let's take down this tree. Got a 69 wood, not bad. Um, and the idea is that you don't want to just start, say, building over here. Because then if you try to connect that up with what you've built by your hub, you're inevitably not going to be at the right angle. And even if you're at the right angle, you're not going to be able to snap, right? Because the, the last ending one will come here, and then they won't fit. And so if you want it to fit, you've got to start from one spot and then build outward from there to everywhere else. Um, he calls it making it square, making the build square, or making each element of the build square to the rest of the build. And I really like that building strategy because it allows you to connect things. I mean, ultimately, we're never going to walk on the ground once we have our factory really running. We're going to be taking trains, we're going to be taking hypertubes, and we're going to be driving trucks along elevated highways that are flat and are designed to avoid us having to deal with nasty creatures and also the ups and downs of trying to climb up and find our way from one place to another, right? We avoid the poison, we avoid the creatures, and that sort of thing. And so ultimately... Ultimately, we're going to want to do that and to do that, we have to have everything interconnect. Otherwise, there are going to be gaps. It's going to be awkward. It's not going to. It's not going to be right. So, um, and it's going to be very hard to connect everything up. So we want to make everything square to the build. But I think it would probably be the height of insanity at this point to try and. I thought I heard a pig beast. To try and make the future base that's going to be miles from the hub. We're going to move the hub and everything to try and make that future base be square to the hub, which I just put down randomly. You know, I tried to make the foundations square to the cardinal directions, right? So that the flat edge face is north, south, east, and west. But I don't know how well I did that. And even if I did it right, the only way to make it square would be to carry cement foundations from the hub all the way out to the base. And I'm not sure that that's worth doing. So instead, I'm going to just start a new set of foundations, and then this stuff will just be taken down when we're done with it. I mean, ultimately, we are going to have to connect them up, but I don't think it's worth trying to connect them up now. I would rather build the main base and then redo this little bit here than try to do all of that connecting up from here with the amount of concrete we have without rebar guns to protect us and things like that. So there's a hub. It's not all that far away. And we'll stay kind of in the desert biome where we started, right on the edge of that biome. But I think that's going to make a really cool base. And it's going to look really neat when we're done. As you can see, I'm pretty close to the resource sink milestone. And, um, one of the other things that I looked at is we really don't need a lot to make these smart plates, which the um, space elevator is going to want. It's going to want 50 of these. So it's going to take about 25 minutes to make them, but we don't need a lot. We're only going to need about 50 reinforced, well, exactly um, 50 reinforced plates to make 50 of these and 50 rotors. So we have those already. So I can just put them into that assembler and get it going don't have room right now in my inventory however so let's take care of that first let's put the leaves and the wood into our storage containers 
we're not going to have to do this for very much longer, guys, because fairly soon we're going to be getting our coal power going. Now, we are going to want to draw power all the way back to here and keep everything running here to keep the spawns down. And we're going to want all of this running until we get our base up, and then we're going to start moving everything to the base. But it's going to take a really long time. It's not going to happen in a few hours or as soon as we build the space elevator by any stretch. Okay. So the MAM is done, and we now have three possible alternate recipes. We can use the bolted frame instead of the modular frame. We can use fused wire which is Caterium plus um, iron ore or iron um, ingots and it's much faster to make or we can use fine concrete let's go with that one if you want to take a look at recipes you can press X which it is for email but also shows you the parts and so you can see we have our modular frame we can either use plates and rods or plates and screws now. Okay. So depending on which we have more of, we can use that. We, if we just get make modular frames, we have the ability to make this inhaler. This thing, if we get some wire, we can inflate our pocket dimension. Let's go ahead and do that. We may as well get the research done as much as possible. Sorry, I was scratching my nose there. Um, so you should have tons and tons of wire now. Yeah, we've all got this almost full. Two, three, we need one more. Right, we need 2,000. And we have enough alien organs, and this wastes a lot of alien organs, but we only have to do it once, and then it inflates our pocket dimension so that this will go all the way and we'll have four full rows. And maybe plus one box? So let's see here. Well, that's five minutes, and we'll let it do that. And then, let's see, we have quartz we can put in, we have bacon agaric, we have sulfur, flowers, organs, and carapace. We have 21 organs now, so that's pretty good. And I don't need this many barrel nuts, so why do I put them in two different places? The ones in the box over by the MAM are for research, these are for healing. There we go. So we have 200 of them now, which is great. We can now do our milestone as well and get the resource sink. And I can at least show you how that works. Milestone reach. You have been given early access to the anti-waste effort for stress testing of materials on exoplanets bonus program. So the way this works, into the awesome resource sink, the awesome shop, the amount and complexity will grant you coupons in the awesome store, which can be exchanged for bonus rewards. The awesome shop gives you a lot of stuff Examples that used to come in. Examples of bonus content are parts, walls, factory attachments, and cosmetics. Fix it is working okay, hard to. Okay, shut up, Ada. Um. These things are, some of them are things that came in under the, like when you got walls and now you use coupons to buy them. Um, there are also new stuff like windowed walls, which they didn't used to have before. Um, there are things like um, hypertube attachments, pipeline wall attachments, wall power attachments, different new foundations like corner foundations. Quarter pipes pack. I guess this is for laying pipes on the foundations. We have ramps, inverted ramps, double ramps, corner ramps. We don't seem to have corner foundations, interestingly. Glass foundations and then walkways, which I definitely want to get soon. Um, stairs and railings. Statues are just decoration. We don't really need equipment. You can buy beacons, and we can make those easily enough. And then you can buy parts. I thought you could buy... It's, at one point, I think you can buy medicinal inhalers as well. <coughs> so what happens is, where do you get the coupons? You get the coupons by setting up this... I'm not going to do it yet, but you this... Um, it's huge. This awesome sink. 
you lay it down and then you belt resources you don't need into the awesome sink and as it eats those resources over time it gives you coupons and the first few coupons are very easy to get and then later coupons take more and more and more and more and more and more resources exponentially um, realistically they recommend quick wire which is made from Caterium once you start making that you end up getting tons of it and you don't need that much of it so you can dump some of it or quartz refined quartz also gives you a lot of credit compared to say something like iron ingots which don't give you any much credit at all so that's how that works so I guess I'll leave the awesome shop up it doesn't harm anything for it to be up there because it doesn't take energy but the awesome sink takes 30 megawatts and we're using a huge amount of energy right now we are very close to our limit as you can see when it peaks we're at 136 if we add another 30 megawatts we're going to short the system so the only way to do that would be to stop production on some of these things which we can do if we need to so now I'm going to take 50 of these and 50 of these and I'm going to I think this thing I don't think these things take that much power do they we can take 15 so we should be safe on this I'm gonna load these guys in here boom boom turn it on and now it should start making these plates and if we check power we're now peaking at 140 and then it's gonna put smart plates out it takes it 30 seconds to make a smart plate these smart platings have no practical use you're just sending them up the space elevator now why am I making them now because we're gonna need them and when the time comes we want to just pick them up and take them to the space elevator now realistically what we're gonna want is the part is the assemblers and manufacturers that are making space elevator parts we're gonna want to put over by the space elevator right near it so that it's gonna make that stuff and ship it up to the space elevator no problem but for now all of our manufacturing is over here at our first base so it's going to be done here but this is it we don't need any more of this so we don't really even need a pipeline going into this for now because we're going to be able to build everything we need from the space elevator with what we just loaded in there so that's pretty good and there comes our pod right so now we're going to do jump pads we may need those to get up to the space elevator but we're going to need rotors and stuff we'll do that later but what I need to do now is get the base actually started um, the other thing I wanted to do let me quickly look up is rebar um, and the rebar gun how you unlock that now Done in the equipment workshop, usage strategy. Unlocked at alien organisms. Okay. So we need to use the alien organism research. So we've inflated our pocket dimension. So now we have four rows plus a little, pocket which is dimension great. Has been inflated. So it must be a lock down there. Let's go ahead and get the carapaces. I've been slow on that. I forgot that that's... But that's what did it. We want rebar guns to shoot things. Okay. There it is. So we can expand our tool belt, which gives us an extra hand slot. We're going to want that and the rebar gun. So for that we need rotors and screws and reinforced plates and we have all of those things. So let's go ahead and do that. Screws, rotors, I think 
like, what do we need, 50 of them or something? And we need 50 plates as well, so let's grab the rotors. And grab the plates. And let's get ourselves a rebar gun. I, I really forgot that that was the route to getting it. I kind of wish they would let you see the tree. Um, ahead of time rather than just being question marks but there we go five minutes we will have a rebar gun and we can put our alien organs organs whatever carapace is back and we still have some rotors right we only needed 25 of those so we can throw some of those in here so we're part way done with that requirement let me grab some more metal So that we have it and grab some more cable in case we need it. We certainly will. We're going to need to run power between here and the um, ultimately the place where we want to put our final base. I think it may be time to go out there and get this started. So I'm going to make like a little bit of a platform and see how I like it. Uh, let's see. Let's grab all of that. So as you can see, I've got like five containers set up for concrete. Um, we're making lots of concrete now. We're going to need even more of it. So let me fill up the biomass burners, and then I'm going to take us out there, and I'll bring you back when we are back out at our future base. All right, guys, we are back at North Inlet I, and Willow Lake. I have drawn a power line all the way over here from the base. So these are powered, or should be. Yep. Now, we don't have any spare power right now while that assembler is going. But we will have spare power once we get the coal power plants working. So... Uh, my plan is to build a coal plant down here in the lake, as I said, and to build our base suspended across the rocks from one side to the other all the way across the top of the inlet. And we'll have a nice view of all these areas, which is pretty cool, and I think it'll look great. So let's head down. And we need to find a spot to be the top. So the way this works, so maybe I should do it from up there. The way this works is you want to find the highest point, right? If we start, say, building from here and we go out, we're going to hit that hill. So the top of that hill might be the highest point. We might want to go out to there. That may be the highest point, or up here might be the highest point. I feel like the highest point's going to be up there. So I think what I want to do is get over there and then start building from there backward till we reach here and then we'll just see what it looks like so now i gotta get over there which we could build our way to i'm gonna see if i can get there by the terrain i'm trying to stay to this side to avoid the alpha pig beast who's over there somewhere Eventually what I'm going to want to do with him is try to box him in so that he can't bother me and can't get into my base. Um, so is this the same height as that? I feel like that's a little bit taller. He's right over there. We don't want any part of him. Let's set something up from here. And I'll bridge out to there, actually. So what I want to do here is line the compass up to the north, right? And then I want this thing facing forward when I'm facing the exact north. And now we have our like the sort of the 
the direction of the base set from this point. Right, and so now we know we're going in the right direction. Right, and then we're going to have to go up, I think. And let's see if we can get over there. Looks like we might have nodes over there. I think we do, actually. So this might be the highest point over here. All right, so now we're going to need a ramp. And then another ramp. And there is a spitter. I don't want him coming after me like this. Not good, not good. He could knock me off. I don't want to be knocked off. I think I'm just going to have to bull my way through this because I don't want to get knocked off the thing. Okay. So now you can see there's actually a higher point right here. So this looks like it might be the highest point in this area. I mean, obviously there's up there, but I don't want to go quite that high. But this is higher than that. So we could potentially build up to there. So let's see. Where is our... So here's our building. So this is where you don't want to just put down another... Um, You don't want to put down just another um, foundation, because if you do that, then it's not going to line up with the rest of it, right? So what we want to do is bring this out, right? And it's a little easier to do from on top, so I'm going to put a ramp up here and walk up to it. So now we want to bring this out. And then we want to rest this right on the top of this ridge. And that is, in fact, correct. I think that's how I want it. And I don't think anything is going to poke through if we do that. It looks like... This is the top. So now the question is, what happens if we come across to there? Is that higher? I think it might be, and we might need to use that instead. Yep. So this is the highest point over here. I don't want anything poking through. And there is a quartz mine right there. So we're going to want to encase the quartz mine. I think that may be what we want to do. I don't think we're going to be able to get rid of that rock, which is frustrating. But we may be able to, like, enclose it or something. So here's some quartz. Let's go ahead and put down a beacon. Quartz, silicon dioxide. I think there's another quartz. Can we ping for quartz? We can. I think there's another one around here. Right over there. There we go. So we have two quartzes right here. So this part's the highest part, I guess. And there is a spitter over there. We do have that bump there, but I don't think we want to incorporate that. I think we're going to want to stop right at the edge there. All right, so let's see if we can get over there. And this is bauxite. 
Bauxite is another type of mineral that we're going to need in the late game. There are nodes of it, I believe. Or, uh, yeah, nodes of it. This is just a deposit. Lots of it, too. Surprised Ada didn't blather about it. Oh, almost fell off there. Alright, so... This is not as high as that, I don't think. Yeah, it is. So this, let's see, where are we on the ground? We are. We're right on the ground. This is the highest point. Okay, guys. And I think this is... This is going to be the start of the build. Now, it doesn't look like anything right now. Right, and I'm going to have to take this down and put the high, the bigger... Um, the bigger foundations down. Doesn't look like anything right now, but eventually we're going to build all into this section, and we're going to bolt, essentially make it look like we've bolted our base. We're going to probably wrap it around this way and all along that way, right? So like this. Right? I probably should be using the Oh, don't want to be standing on that. I probably should be using the larger um, foundations here. All right, and we're just going to go all along this area. And then we're going to go out to there. So the question is, what's the best way to get out there? Oh man, this is exactly the right height. It's just not clipping. You gotta be very careful here or you're gonna fall. And there is not water beneath us. You can see there's another pod and a spitter down there. Right, but then what I like to do, right, is push this all the way back into the wall so that it looks like it's bolted in, right? And this is supporting our base. Now I'm also gonna put supports from below, like columns and stuff coming up. But the idea is that the base is going to be supported all around the edges by the actual structure of the cliff. All right now we want to get out to there, right? So let's see if going from here will take us out there. This looks like it's kind of centered. Let's try it. And this is high enough that it'll put us up everything below, right? We can also have you know, a basement underneath if we want, and things like that. We have water down below if we need to pipe it up right there. And we're still in the desert, which is where we started, which I like. I, I don't want to switch. If you're, if you're going to build a base in the northern biome or in the grassy biome, you may as well start there to me. And there's a huge amount of space over there, too. This is cool. I like this. I'm happy with this starting position. We potentially also could build a ramp up here and then go up there and get across that way. So I'm going to explore that as well. As you can see, you need a lot of concrete for this. And we're pretty much in the middle of this, you know, give or take a, a foundation width or two. Right, so now we have a bridge going across. Let's investigate going up this way and then building across to there too. I believe I inspected at one point the idea of putting a space elevator up there, but it wasn't flat enough. And I don't know if that's gonna be flat enough either. We're just gonna have to see. We can make it flat with foundations though. So now we want to get up to there. So let's back this up a little bit. We 
these guys are going to come over to me now. Let's block them off, actually. If we can. Leave me alone. I don't know if they're smart enough to come around that way, but I can kind of block it. <laughs> and then they can't come in. Alright, so we need to go up that way. You can hear them shooting at it. Snap, there we go. Alright, so eight. Eight. I think we need another wall right there to keep them blocked. And so this is how you do it. You just build ramps up to things. the question. Obviously this would have to be neatened up if you were going to make it an integral part of your base. But for now we're just trying to get there. Okay. Oh, and there's some iron right here. How nice. Very convenient. I am not going to play with those guys right now. Because what I want to do is investigate what happens? So this actually is a starting area that I started in a long time ago, I think. Or maybe I got here when I was in the northern biome? I can't remember. I remember starting in this spot. A long time ago. Okay, so we got our limestone there, but what I really want to see, and this is now not going to be square to the build, right? But I want to see what's up top there. All right, guys, I'm going to build my way up there, and I will bring you back when we're there. All right, guys, we are back, and we are up here. It is pretty big and flat up here. It's large enough, I think, for the space elevator. Um, we can test that real quick. It needs to be 8 by 8 to fit it comfortably. Yeah, that's no problem. That's 8, and they're not all against each other. And we should be able to go that way. And that way. Yeah, that's big enough. Okay, so this is probably the highest I've ever tried to make the space elevator be. I, I don't know why, I just like making it really, really high. Um, I don't know, I just think it looks cool when it's like anchored, bolted into some kind of rock and is like going up really into the sky. Um, if we look here, I'm trying not to fall off. So in the past, I've had the space elevator um, up there, I think, on this side. I've also in the past had the space elevator, I think, up in there, like on that plateau. But I think I like it here, all the way at the end of the world, basically. Um, I think that may be the new 
biome that's all desert. No, that's the that's the rocky desert. That's where we came from. So the new biome must be. Oh yes, the new biome is out there. That's another place you could put the space elevator. There's a big plateau over there. That's also really cool. But I think I want to put it here. And eventually we're going to build bridges between all of these large rock formations from place to place. There doesn't seem to be anything out here, strangely. Um, it's just flat and empty, which is actually the ideal place to put the space elevator. And then we're just going to need to bring um, conveyor belts or conveyor lifts up from the level of that. Which isn't that bad. It looks really far, but it'd just be maybe two or three sets of belts to bring us back up and to bring things up from from there. So, not too bad. So this is pretty cool. I like this location. I'm going to go ahead and put a beacon down. SE site. There we go. And we're going to leave our um, makeshift bridge up until we have a more permanent solution to it. Of course, with switchbacks and things like that, and hypertubes. Um, in fact, just for safety, I'm putting walls there so that I don't accidentally fall off. You know, because I, I thought I was going to keep going that way, and I almost ended up in the desert down there. I like this, guys. So we're going to build this thing all the way across to there, and all the way back. It's going to look awesome. I'm really psyched. We have cop two copper nodes, I think three, four, I think pure. I, I didn't check, but I think four pure iron, two normal copper, and a normal or pure limestone all in this spot, which is great. So we're going to pull all that stuff right into our base. Right, so we're, we're almost going to be able to like restart the base here, pull all that stuff into the main floor of the base, and then we can slowly abandon the original base, which was just our first starting location. And I think once again, I'm going to do that just so that I don't fall off. And I think I'm going to leave these walls up. Just to avoid our little buddies. For now. I don't think... I don't think they're going to come all this way over here. They shouldn't bother me with those walls up. Yeah, they're way over there. I don't think he'll come bother me. Once we have mines in the quartz and we've put up some storage containers and stuff here and, and started actually um, doing stuff here, we should be fine. All right, so this is the level of the base, right? The level I'm on right now is the final level of the base. This is where we're going to be, which means that rock gets blocked. That's excellent. And that should be high enough to get us over everything else. And we're just going to pipe everything up to here, guys. All right, I think we'll stop here. This has been great. I'm really happy with this. I obviously had a lot of work and a lot of cleaning up to do, but now you've seen our base, and when I come back, I may have a lot more done for you, like um, the first level of this base as a starting platform. Is he stuck? Oh, wait. Um, yeah, so things are looking up. I'm pretty happy with this. I've got, obviously got a clear cutting to do and all of that. But eventually, we're going to have a really cool initial platform. And then it's going to be time to start moving our operations here from where we started. Until next time, I am Scrapperlock, and this is Satisfactory Early Access.